Um. Hi. What's up, peoples? So, it's been a long time and I feel like uh, I should catch you up to speed, let you know exactly what's going on. I apologize for all the trucks in the background and they wouldn't listen to me. Uh, I told them that they needed to stop driving while I'm recording, well, while I'm vlogging. And it's raining, right? Okay, screw it, because it's gonna be awkward either way it goes because people are staring. If you thought I haven't been vlogging, you're wrong. Because I've definitely been vlogging. I've been doing my best to try to like, keep a record of what I've been doing. But like, things are just ridiculously stupid retarded right now. But sorry, if I'm not supposed to use those words. That's just what it's looked like. So let's get into it. Yeah, I took my glasses off because my eyes are starting to sweat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a couple things. So, one, I got linked up with this guy named BJ ASAP. So we started doing some real amazing work together, and the first interview that we did went viral all over the internet with ESPN posting the first like post uh, that we posted. It was an interview with him and LeVar Ball. Better than ESPN right here. Never lost. I'm trying to tell you, never lost. Never lost. It was everywhere, like all over the internet. Then after that, Artesia, Ed Van and myself, uh, for the reality is flew to Atlanta. I got back I was super amped about putting it together but there was something that happened whenever I got back that kind of like halted me from actually doing anything it was more important I had family in town and it just kind of like disrupted the rhythm not in a bad way it just kind of like put me in a different headspace and before I could get back on like creating the habit of actually carrying my camera sitting down talking to the camera like and actually giving you guys substance i said all that to say one little thing and if i'm not good at anything i'm real good at this one and that's picking things back up where i left off at least jump started all over again so it was raining outside earlier today and I, I, koopa keeps pooping and peeing in his crate and I don't necessarily know why or how to stop him from pooping and peeing inside the crate. But I do know one thing that he's got me on a routine of cleaning it up. And today, while I was cleaning it, I said maybe I need to do a deeper clean and get his scent. His sense of smell is a significant difference in what mine is, so we can't smell it. So I decided to spray his spray the bottom of his crate down with bleach and scrub, 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 then walk into the car wash and spray it down with water to rinse everything of it out. And while I was out there, I saw this spider, and it's raining outside. Now I started thinking about the nursery rhyme, the itsy, itsy, it, the itsy bitsy spider. And you know that, you know how it goes. The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider had to crawl up the spout again. But I'm pretty sure that the rain didn't just stop. And I'm thinking about this metaphorically in an adult 
from like and thinking about it as an adult right now and I think I've come to this realization and that realization is that no matter how dry or how sunny it gets there needs to be rain in some shape form or fashion that comes along in your life to kind of wash you down and get you to start all over again but just like the nursery rhyme you continue to sing it over and over and over the spider never stopped crawling up the water spout. It climbed and climbed and climbed. And you can look at that in a bunch of different ways. Uh, but me personally, I try, I'm trying my best to look at it in a positive way. Because there are definitely things that you guys haven't seen here that I'm pretty sure that I'm going to talk about in the future that have completely knocked me on my and made me want to just quit and give up and start all over and versus start all over again. But whenever you have people in your corner that are truly there for you and helping you understand that, you know what, I need to encourage Franklin or I need to encourage Postal Boy or I need to encourage Bay to actually continue, continue, continue to do what it is that he's doing, which is creating for people and for himself. I want to quit. I wanted to quit. I haven't quit. I know. And I think this is a normal process for people. And I think that some people hide that. Something has happened to myself and my wife recently that uh, like, basically let me know how much of a hypocrite I was when it came to sharing certain topics in our lives. Now, I'm not going to talk about what happened uh, right now, today, but I'm definitely probably going to give you a rundown of this story because I need to try my best to stop being so hypocritical about certain things that I, I talk about here. And I need to share the whole truth and nothing but the truth right here with you guys. If you're struggling with something right now, like on like trying to figure out how you should get something started or if you're trying to figure like figure it out what you're doing just start be like the little itsy bitsy spider don't let one little water drop slide rain pour storm whatever it is stop you from actually wanting to get started in the first place or starting over i've been watching a lot of cody warner uh peter mckinnon and casey neistat for the last two weeks, they've been saying a lot of stuff about actually being true to what you're creating and like doing things because you want to do it versus doing it the way that other people do it and just creating to create. And it kind of like let me know that I forgot again that quick. Why it is why I started making YouTube videos in the first place. And that was because I needed a personal outlet for myself to one, uh, practice and hone in on my skills as an editor, two, to do something and create something for myself and three because it gives me an opportunity to show people what i'm capable of doing whenever i have com complete creative control of what it is that i'm creating it's not so i can make money make off of adsense because that definitely hasn't happened and it's not purely to have some kind of popularity over the internet but it's because i felt like creating videos and honestly i haven't been doing that and it angers me just a little bit a real good friend of mine uh, i met with last tuesday and he said the great thing about your vlogs is that you only have to satisfy yourself like i've seriously been trying to vlog for the past like i've been trying to kickstart this thing for like almost a week here's some of the footage what's going on guys uh it's sad but i don't even know how to do this anymore um, so I made some Starbucks as you can see. I guess I stepped on gum outside. Alright, so I made it to the Art Basil like open. Finally in the car. I tried to play with Koopa, but he's trying to eat my wires and stuff. ASAP's here. So we're about to go get this thing going. Hard lessons of being an adult that I've learned are that no matter what you're going through personally, the world never stops. This place is as big as Walmart. There's nothing but antiques in it. And I, I really just felt like I couldn't get in a groove or 
really and truly I was just in my head about certain stuff and trying to figure out like what was going to be best for you guys and I forgot about myself but with that being said I'm going to end the vlog right here um, and well in this particular vlog and I'll start over the day so you can see what I actually did today versus catching you up because this is you, you'll get it but anyway uh, if you like this video click the subscribe button give me a like leave a comment on what it is that you're trying to get better at doing and I'll see you guys tomorrow let's go